Alrighty guys, how's it going? Day Daddy here today. We're gonna look at, in this episode or this video, we're gonna look at um, how to create a virtual disk when you're adding um, new drives to your server. So what I did was recently those, these four slots were empty um, and I bought some SSDs, I replaced them, or I replaced the old HHDs, or I had one broken HHD, and I bought some other caddies, and basically, I replaced the HHDs, or put in SSDs in place of HHDs, in these three and a half inch caddies. So these are one terabyte team group, uh, not sure if they're great or not, they had pretty good reviews, but they were on the cheaper side, so you know, we'll see how these do as we go. But the goal here is to get better read and write speeds and more um, uh, more longevity with these SSDs. These are SATA, so you know, not they're not SAS like the HHDs, but um, you know, they should be fine for, for what we're doing here, and they, they will work with the server. Um, so anyway. Um, just want to show you what we're working with so that these four um, caddies, or these four bays on the other side have SSDs in them and we're going to create a separate virtual disk for all of those with a RAID 0 configuration um, for greater speed. So that's really all, all we care about um, with those. And eventually I'm gonna turn all of these into uh, SSDs and all RAID 0 for speed and performance. Uh, and then just have everything backed up uh, nightly to uh, a NAS. So that's the idea really long-term. But for now, let's figure out how to create uh, a virtual disk here. So bear with me, I'm trying to figure out how to set this things so you guys can see. All right, cool. So we're gonna reboot here. And bear with me, this does take a moment. All right, so at this point, we're gonna wanna press F2 so we can enter system setup. And then we're gonna look for a control R. And just go ahead and start hitting control R. And cool, that's gonna take us to um, the BIOS configuration utility. So, all right, so as you can see, I already have um, one virtual disk, and this is for all the HHDs. The, the first four bays are uh, HHDs in a RAID 10 configuration. So this is basically for more long-term storage and redundancy uh, until I can get the NAS set up. But I'd really like faster read and write speeds, so I'm gonna configure these four other disks I just set up, so these unconfigured physical disks here. Uh, these are those SSD, the one terabyte SSDs I was talking about. So we're gonna configure these as a separate virtual disk uh, with RAID 0. So what we're gonna do is come up here, and you know, for me it's F and F2, but we're just gonna hit F2 so that we can open the options and then create, create new virtual drive. It's already set as RAID 0, but you know if you'd like, you can do other configurations, RAID 1, 5, 6, 10. Um, so, but for me in this case, I want the most performance. I don't care about, um, I don't care about any uh, data redundancy or anything like that. So I'm gonna set it as RAID 0. Um, and then I'm going to just go ahead and click through saying I, I'm specifying that I want these ver these drives included, these physical drives included. So um, that's basically saying mapping the bay to the position that they are in, in the virtual disk. So you have four mapped to zero, five mapped to one, six mapped to two, seven mapped to three. You, get, you guys get the idea. Okay, so that's just telling us the size um, and let's name this, um, 
we'll name this uh, virtual drive R0 for virtual drive RID 0. And we'll hit OK. That's fine. So boom. There we go. Actually, I'm going to rename this because I like, I want to name it something else. So F2 properties. I don't know if I can change. Let's see if I can change. Okay, cool. I can change the name. So I'll name this actually fast um, underscore R0 for RAID 0. So there we go. Not really anything too much different, but... Ah, damn. I'm just trying to keep it consistent. This is main dash. We'll change that to... Fast dash. I guess I have to delete it all. Fast dash R zero. Zero. All right, cool. Sorry about that, guys. I just want to keep my name inconsistent. All right, so there we go. We have um, two different virtual disks now. So all of my SSDs are now configured in a virtual disk. And then I have um, the long-term RAID 10 uh, HHD storage as one virtual disk. So there we go. We have now configured uh, a new virtual disk and we can hit escape and yes we're sure we want to exit and then we will reboot and then once it reboots the uh, drive should be recognized and we should be able to use them so we'll reboot and I'll show you guys what it looks like notice it says two virtual drives now so that's a good sign. All right, you guys, and uh... So if we go ahead and log in, okay, and if we go to the root directory, well actually, better, let's just do this, df-h, this just shows us what memory we have. We can see now that we have um, two different drives. We have an SDA2 and SDA1. So that's what we should see. Um, All righty, guys, that about does it for today. Uh, if you like the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. And if you really like the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee. And the information pack to do that will be in the video description. If none of that sounds good, at least just give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know how I'm doing, if anything's unclear, or if there are things that I can improve on. Um, but above all, guys, thanks again. Appreciate you watching, and have a great rest of the day.